Hello again. As we head through the weekend and into the early part of next week, it's going to turn much colder than it has been this week, with some of us seeing some snow. Now, today what we've got is high pressure firmly in charge of our weather. Wide spacing in the isobars means that it's not going to be as windy as it has been, so it won't feel as cold down the North Sea coastline, but still quite a brisk breeze across the southeast and the English Channel. We're also hanging on to a lot of cloud across eastern Scotland and eastern England, producing some patchy light rain, the odd shower getting into Northern Ireland, and some sunny intervals across parts of Scotland, increasing amounts of sunshine across southern and central England and Wales through the afternoon, with temperatures 7 to 10 degrees. Through this evening, more cloud comes in from the North Sea and overnight that will drift further south and west. We'll have clear skies, southwest England, Wales and also parts of Scotland. And here is where the temperatures will dip away below freezing. So it's here we will see some frost. But generally speaking, it is going to be a cold night wherever you are. So we start on that note tomorrow. High pressure still firmly in charge. If anything, it's drifted a little bit further westwards. Hardly an isobar across the UK. So again, we're looking at very light winds, if at all. And tomorrow too, we're looking at a fair bit of cloud to start the day across England and Wales. But through the day, it does tend to push away towards the south and the west. So it will brighten up later in eastern England. Some sunshine in Scotland, some sunny intervals at times across Northern Ireland and across the far north of Scotland in the Northern Isles, a weather front's coming in and that will produce some spots of rain. Temperatures, seven to nine degrees. So if we pick up on that weather front as we head into the weekend, here it is slipping southwards. It's bumping into the high pressure, so it's going to be a weak affair. Not much more than cloud in it, possibly the odd spot of rain, but another one coming into the north of Scotland will bring in some rain and some snow initially on higher ground. And you can see why this air that filters steadily southwards coming straight from the Arctic. So next week it is going to feel colder and there is the chance of snow. Now, it's still a long way off. There's still a bit of uncertainty as to where we're going to see the snow and the timing of it. So do keep tuned to the weather forecast. But one thing we do know is it's going to turn colder with more night frosts.